Hey, how you doing students? How you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. It's time for the key concept of macro and some calculations. We're talking about the GDP deflator. In the last video, you learned about nominal and real GDP. You found out the nominal GDP is the GDP expressed in current prices, not adjusted for inflation. The real GDP is adjusted for inflation. So how do you adjust them? The GDP deflator. It deflates the nominal GDP. I've got three questions for you. I'm even giving you the equation for calculating the GDP deflator. The GDP deflator is nominal divided by real times 100. Now it's going to give you a number. When it pops out that number, it's going to say, for example, 105. A GDP deflator of 105 means prices have increased 5% since the base year. Not the previous year, since the base year. A GDP deflator of 120 means prices increased 20% since the base year. And a GDP deflator of 95 meant prices fell 5% since the base year. Okay, I want you to try these three questions on your own, see how you do on them, then we'll go over the answers. All right? I'll read the first one. If nominal GDP is 100 billion and real GDP is 80 billion, what is the deflator? So I want you to use that equation. Later on, we're not looking for the deflator. I give it to you. You're looking for the nominal GDP. And after that, you're going to look for the real GDP. So three different questions. Good luck. All right, here we go. Let's go over it. If you just use the equation, that's fine, just to pop out the answer. That's cool, but understand the logic behind it, right? Then you'll see if that number makes any sense. So for the first one, right now in our current economy, whatever year this is, the GDP is $100 billion, the nominal GDP not adjusted for inflation. But when you adjust for inflation, that $100 billion of stuff is actually not $100 billion of stuff. It's actually only $80 billion of stuff. So prices have increased since the base year of $20 billion. $20 billion is what percent of 80 billion? And the answer is it's 25%. 20 billion is one fourth of 80 billion. That means one fourth gives you a GDP deflator of 125. Wait, wait, I'm lost. What was it again? Why is it 125? GDP deflator is telling you how much prices have changed since the base year. Prices have gone up 25%. Okay, let's try another one. Now you're looking for the nominal GDP. In the real GDP in a given year is 200, the deflator is 120, so prices have gone up 20%. The question is, how much is the nominal? First question you have to ask, is this number, it's going to be the nominal GDP, higher or lower than 200 billion? Right? Logically, without the equation, ignore the equation. Is the number that's going to pop out greater or less than 200? Well, 200 billion is the real GDP, and prices have gone up 20%, and so the number that it's asking for is going to be greater than 200 billion. In this case, it's 240 billion, right? That's the nominal GDP. How did I get that? Well, prices increased 20%, right? And so if the GDP, the real GDP was 200 billion, what is 20% of that 200 billion? The answer is 40. So the, re the nominal GDP must be 240 billion. All right, last one, here we go. Now I'm giving you the nominal GDP of 300 billion, and I'm telling you the deflator is 150, the question now, the real GDP, is that going to be greater than or less than 300 billion? So what number plus 50% of that number gives you 300 billion? That's what we're looking at, and that'll tell us the real GDP. So what is 300 billion before prices went up 50%? The answer is 200 billion, right? The real GDP, the value of this $300 billion, when you factor in the prices have gone up 50% since the base year, is actually only $200 billion adjusted for inflation. Hopefully this makes sense. Till next time.